हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक और डिस्कशन इज स्मार्ट फार्मिंग सो वॉट इज स्मार्ट फार्मिंग स्मार्ट फार्मिंग इज बेसिकली मैनेजिंग फार्म्स बाई यूजिंग एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी सच एज ड्रोन्स सेंसर्स द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स एक्सेट्रा दिस इज डेवलपिंग इन टू अ थर्ड ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द चैलेंजेस फॉर इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर फर्स्ट चैलेंजेस सॉइल हेल्थ इन इंडिया इज बिकमिंग इनकेपेबल ऑफ सपोर्टिंग फार्मर्स सॉइल हेल्थ इज बींग greatly harmed by wind and water erosion deforestation urbanization and the removal of native vegetation the soil health survey conducted in 2019-20 by the central government found that 55% of the country soil is deficient in basic nutrients secondly india's average farm size has been steadily shrinking which has hurt labor productivity and restricted economies of scale As per the latest information available from the agriculture census the average size of operational holding has decreased from 1.41 hectares in 1995-96 to 1.08 hectares in 2015-16 considering this trend and that the population will only increase in the future it is going to put a lot of pressure on the country to maintain its food security third point is that Many of its farms still rely on monsoon for irrigation which restricts their ability to boost crop production. Too much rainfall or too little or a volatile monsoon pattern can damage crops. Another major challenge is that small and marginal farmers cannot get a convenient line of credit. Small and marginal farmers are more dependent than large farmers on informal source of credit. which puts them under unnecessary stress and increases the likelihood that they won't be able to repay the loan if their crops are damaged also small and marginal farmers tend to prefer growing crops which are under the minimum support price due to the guarantee of receiving a minimum level of selling price for their crops despite the low level of demand and market price for them what this does is that it discourages these farmers from growing any other type of crop and decreases the diversification of crops diversification of crops is important to expand production and lower the possible risk factors like crop getting destroyed by pests and bad climates now let us talk about the advantages of smart farming smart farming can improve the quality of products using sensors drones can gather information such as the fertility of the soil and nutrient content farmers can access this information using smartphones and thereby can take conscious and accurate decision with the help of ai secondly smart farming saves plenty of time for farmers because they will have to visit the field a lesser number of times than when using traditional farming techniques Smart farming techniques minimizes the need to take care of monotonous tasks. For example, agricultural drones can observe the moisture in the soil using sensors. If it is below the predefined value, it will take the programmed action such as alerting the farmer or switching on the water spraying function in the drone. It will also result in more efficient use of water. Moreover, this will free farmers to concentrate on other things to improve farm productivity or they can even focus on other sources of income. Not just for agriculture lands, it can also help in managing livestock. For example, drones can identify sick animal so that they can be separated from the group to prevent the spread of diseases. The world population is increasing, so the demand for food will continue to increase. Smart farming will help in achieving food security for all by improving agriculture productivity. Now let us talk about the challenges. The tools of smart farming are not affordable to some farmers, especially small farmers. Secondly, smart farming requires a continuous internet connection. Some areas do not have internet facilities and for some areas it is too expensive to set up a 24 by 7 internet connection. So this may create a new kind of inequality smart farming will create new jobs but will also result in job losses especially for landless agriculture laborers providing new employment opportunities to vulnerable people and training them with the new in demand skill is a big challenge now let us see the way forward technology for soil testing can help farmers change their farming practices 
इट विल गाइड दैम टूवर्ड्स इम्प्रूविंग सॉइल हेल्थ रिजल्टिंग इन हाई यील्स एंड इनकम एंड प्रमोटिंग सस्टेनेबल फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिस ट्रेडिशनल टेक्नोलॉजी शुड बी ब्लेंडेड विद न्यू मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक टिश्यू कल्चर एंड जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग टू अचीव हायर प्रोडक्टिविटी इंडिया नीड्स टू अडेप द टेक्निक्स ऑफ प्रिसीजन फार्मिंग विच यूज सेंसर एंड अदर साइंटिफिक इक्विपमेंट फॉर एन इफेक्टिव वे ऑफ फार्मिंग इट विल लोअर द एवरेज कॉस्ट इंक्रीज फार्मर इनकम एंड सॉल्व मेनी अदर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द इकोनॉमी ऑफ स्केल India needs to invest in agriculture research and development to be able to find ways to implement new cutting edge technologies such as GIS geographical information system and AI ML artificial intelligence and machine learning in farming Pest and weed attacks pose a concern for our families due to which we lose a lot of our produce every year A plan and integrated strategy is required to address the threats to plant and animal life as well as consumer food safety water use patterns are awfully inefficient in india where indian farmers use 2 to 4 times more water to produce a unit of any major food crops indian farmers need to adapt more micro irrigation measures that use water more efficiently lastly there is a need to connect local market with national and global markets The government needs to come up with policies to attract private investment in export oriented activities and infrastructure in the agriculture sector. Overall, smart farming has many advantages such as increased productivity of farms, reduced work for farmers etc. It is very much needed as the demand for food is increasing. Advancement in Indian agriculture will make it a viable career choice for our farmers in today's high inflation economy. it will also help in creating new job opportunities for people from diverse fields of interest india's being an it giant has huge potential to revolutionize the farming sector of india make india a global leader in agriculture and truly lead india to be atmanirbhar bharat i hope you like this video thank you for watching comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this